Hello everyone, welcome back to my project box. Today I want to take a look at this uh, nice little uh, pan and tilt camera, security camera that Sonoff sent me. It's the Cam PT2. And uh, it's a neat little device. Um, it's powered by USB, which is quite convenient. So you can sort of use any old uh, USB phone charger. If you possibly have a socket outlet that uh, has a USB socket on it, then you can power it that way. And it's USB-C, so any USB-C cable should work. It comes with a generous length, um, a two meter long USB-C cable. And um, it, can, it can sit on a table or a shelf. Um, it can be wall mounted via this little clip bracket. And um, it can also be ceiling mounted. Now it has, um, you know, sort of quite handy features like motion tracking, um, and uh, it has a built-in alarm, so if it detects motion, you can set an alarm off. Or you can have it trigger uh, another device, like another light, so when it detects motion, um, you can set off a light or something like that, some sort of um, automation. Um, but what I'm interested in is, um, I would like to mount it in the ceiling, but in such a way that you don't have any trailing cables running down the wall uh, to a nearby socket. I want a really neat solution. I want to... I want to mount it on the ceiling and have all the cables hidden nicely. And you would think a convenient way to do it is to power it from a nearby light if you're mounting it on the ceiling. Um, the problem with that, of course, is if the light is turned off, you lose power. So I have a neat little solution. So stick around and uh, we'll look at how we can install this on the ceiling and connect it up to a ceiling light. So I think uh, this little camera is best mounted on the ceiling. And um, if you go mounted close to a ceiling light like this, then we could power our little power supply, our little 5 volt power, USB power supply from the ceiling light itself. And the um, only problem we'll have is if you turn the light switch on and off, we cut power to our USB power supply. So I have a neat little trick for that. Now if we head over to my workbench where I have a fake ceiling with a couple of LED downlights mounted in it, I can demonstrate how I'm going to set it all up. So obviously we can take our little Sonoff camera and uh, put it onto a table or put it on a shelf. Um, but we are however limited to um, how long our USB cable is and where to plug our little phone charger um, into a socket outlet. So this got me thinking, it's obviously possible to mount this on the ceiling using this little bracket here, and you can mount it onto a wall as well. But then you'd have to run your cable to a socket outlet nearby. So I thought, um, if we look at my little fake ceiling here with some downlights on it, if we wanted to mount it onto the ceiling, we could possibly power it on um, one of these lights, because there's obviously power behind there when the light is turned on. And it would be handy if we could just take... Um, uh, this little USB phone charger and plug it into something like this little Euro um, plug extension thing and um, then connect this up to the light and then we have power to power the camera. Now of course this poses a problem that um, if the light is on it's fine we have power to the camera and to our USB phone charger but the moment the light is turned off from the light switch um, we lose power to the to the camera and the camera is turned off. So I thought there must be a way to um, still power the camera so it can be mounted on the ceiling, possibly where this light used to be, or next to it or nearby. Um, also, um, it must be possible so that this could uh, the motion detected can trigger one of the, these lights to come on, so you, if you walk into the room, the lights turn on. So it's quite handy to have the camera mounted on the ceiling uh, nearby the lights. But now, how do you stop the camera from being turned off? Now, if I uh, turn this around, you'll see how these are wired. These are daisy chained together. So let me just uh, flip my little fake ceiling around so you can see what's at the back. Now, these um, LED downlighters are all just daisy chained together. You have your incoming uh, switched supply from the light switch with a live and permanent neutral and a switched live. And this feeds the first light, and then from there it daisy chains across to the next light, and to the next light here. 
So obviously this is where we want to pick up our supply from. This is where it comes in to the chain. Now we could just take um, this little Euro extension thingy uh, and our USB phone charger plugs into that and it can sit, happily sit above the ceiling because these ceiling lights pop out and then you can just poke things down the hole. And what we can do is we can sort of attach it there. And yes, we will have power when the lights are on, but uh, this poses a problem, obviously, if you turn the uh, light switch off, we lose power to our USB phone charger. But uh, this is where magic switch comes in. Now, if you remember, in one of my previous videos, I featured um, the Sonoff Basic R4, which has this magical magic switch mode. Now, let me recap how magic switch work with a simple lighting circuit with only one light bulb. What we need to do is we need to link out L1 and L2 on the switch with a little wire link and then we install the Sonoff Basic R4 in between the live and neutral that go to the light bulb. Now because of our wire link the switch can be flipped and it doesn't matter which position the switch is in. We always have a constant live and neutral supply at the Basic R4. Now in the input terminals of the Basic R4 we can now simply connect our USB power adapter and it will also be permanently powered. Now here is where the magic part comes in. When the switch is flipped over there's a very brief period when there's no power coming through to the basic R4. This is very brief but it's long enough to act as an input trigger for the basic R4 but it's so small that uh, the basic R4 can stay powered and also our little USB power supply will also stay powered. And our camera is happy because it has permanent power all the time now. Now what this would allow us to do is it would allow us to have permanent live and neutral here instead of switch live and neutral. Um, and this could go in between like so. And it could switch the lights on and off. And then we could, uh, we could pick up our live, we could pick up our permanent live and neutral supply on this side and that solves the problem really and I'll show you in a minute how that actually works because um, what you do is you link the um, L1 and L2 in your switch out. Um, I featured this in a video before about magic switch and it's quite cool because it can detect the, the change in switch position without actually turning um, anything on and off. The um, Sonoff is still powered at all times, so there's still a permanent live feed here. It just detects the little tiny break um, when it goes from one switch position to another switch position. But uh, L1 and 2 is linked out, so there's just that where the, the switch changes from one contact to another. There's a brief period of a few milliseconds that you lose power, and that is detected by our Sonoff Basic. Uh, it doesn't really affect our um, phone charger much because um, it has a capacitor inside so a small power glitch will not affect this at all and the camera happily um, keeps working uh, no matter which position that switch is in so let me show you how we can wire up the Sonic basic r4 with magic switch with the start of the daisy chain so that um, it gets its uh, live and neutral supply and this will then switch the lights on and off and at the same time, and at the same time, we get our USB power supply. So let me just wire that in so you can see how, how that looks. Right, so what we've done is we've simply just put this in line. We've put the uh, Sonoff Basic R4 in line with this, uh, the, the switch supply. Um, and on the input, We've parallel and parallel with that we've wired up this little socket outlet. Um, it's like an inline extension, um, so we can plug our USB phone charger into there. So really, supply comes in from the light switch, uh, goes into our live and neutral in from the Sonic Basic R4. At the same time, that's also the same point where our um, USB phone charger is connected. And the output of this goes to the start of the daisy chain. And uh, that's all wired up. And now um, we can plug our camera into the USB phone charger. 
and this can all happily sit above the ceiling poking down the hole of the uh, LED downlight. And um, as you can see, our Sonic Basic is now powered. So um, let me pop one of the lights out. So we can operate the light switch now. Our little camera stays powered. You can see the little um, blue light is on the front. It stays lit. So it means our camera is now working from the ceiling light circuit. No matter which position our light switch is in, whether the lights are on or off. And of course we have smart control as well. We've made the light switch smart using our Sonoff Basic R4. So let's test the smart functionality. Hey, switch on the down lights. Got it. Turning the down lights on. And of course we can uh, use the light switch as well to turn them off. And all the while the camera stays powered. Which is great because um, the Sonoff Basic R4 has magic switch, which means we can have the circuit permanently powered, just because of the little link we put inside the light switch. For some of you living in the UK, things can be a lot simpler. You could actually have a permanent live supply feed right up by the ceiling light. So if you're lucky enough to live in the UK and you have one of these uh, pendant style uh, lights, ceiling lights, um, you actually have permanent power there, even though when you turn the light switch off, there is still permanent power here because this is like a junction box. And um, it's called the three plate system. And you could power your camera power supply straight from, from up here. You have permanent live and permanent neutral up here, as well as the switch live. So with the three plate system, it's really just a junction box in, in the ceiling rows. And you have a permanent neutral loop terminal and a permanent live loop terminal and then your switch live goes over here. So we can take a little USB adapter like this one that I've hacked some wires on and I've soldered some wires onto it. We can simply attach it to the permanent neutral terminal and the permanent live terminal. And there you go, we have our permanent supply um, for our camera. So I've simply hacked a, an American Japanese style um, a USB phone charger that I can't use here because of the flat pins and I've cut them off and soldered a bit of flex to it and just put some epoxy over to make it safe. So this is a bit hacked up but it does work and um, it's nice and small. But uh, you can use uh, the Euro adapter thing that I showed earlier. And I'm certainly not going to judge you if you use a connector block. It works. It's not stupid if it works. But not everybody's going to like that. But yes, yeah, so you've got these two terminals here. So it's quite convenient to get a permanent live feed. So that unfortunately is not an option for everyone. But it is an option for peop some people living in the UK. And you can um, uh, put your power supply above the ceiling and that will solve your problem. Now for the rest of Europe and around the world, this is not all that common. So we'll have to come up with my special solution. So the final install turned out great. No ugly cables to have to clip along the wall. It's all very neat and tidy. I'm quite impressed with it. And these two little bright LEDs are brilliant for night vision. And it's got infrared LEDs as well, so it has full color night vision. I really do think this camera is pretty decent at its price point. Sonoff really did a good job. The picture quality at 1080p is pretty decent for a cheap Wi-Fi camera like this. And with the pan and tilt working perfectly, we got a full 360 degree view. Now, if you would like to try this camera for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description so you'll get a, a nice little discount and uh, you'll help the channel out as well. I probably haven't touched on everything that this camera can do. So I think I'll leave a full list of the features in the description. Setting up the camera to detect motion so that it would trigger the light to come on if somebody walked past turned out to be quite easy to do. Home Assistant integration would also be something that a lot of you would be interested in. 
And Sonoff did send me a complete guide, but I'm sure lots of people will make videos about this. It did cross my mind to perhaps repurpose my no neutral circuit, but in such a way that instead of providing a permanent neutral supply, it now provides a permanent live supply to power the camera. But I think the basic R4 does a better job of this, and as a bonus you get to make that lighting circuit smart as well. Now, if you think this is something that would be interesting to see in a future video, let me know in the comments. That just about wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. It only takes a second and it really helps the channel out. Well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.